Hello there and welcome to a very rainy day here at Beauty Bees. I hope if that sound is coming through that it's nice and calming rather than annoying, but what are you going to do? Here we are, we're going to do this thing. I think that today I'm going to go kind of a holiday glam. I don't know why, but I'm really feeling that today. Maybe it's that I uh, accidentally dressed myself in like a full Christmas outfit, but we're gonna start out with some primer. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Enunciating like I'm on Wheel of Fortune here. And I like this to fill in the pores around my nose, but also around the edges of my face. I have a lot of acne scarring and I find that this does a better job than about anything I've ever, else I've ever used at filling those in as well. Which I think is impressive because those are quite a bit wider than normal pores are. Okay, I think that's looking nice and smooth. My skin is, I think, actually looking okay. So we're at least going to do my eyes first before we decide if I am going to add any foundation or anything. And I keep saying we. You are welcome to give your feedback, but it won't really impact anything. So I'm going to start just with my Milani eyeshadow primer. I'm going to be using the palette that I pulled together, was it last week? I don't know, time's been doing funny things recently. On my channel, it is a BYOP that is full of shimmery shades, but I will be, I'm sure, bringing in just a neutral brown or something to put in my crease because though I do like an all shimmery look, I don't think that's what I want to go for today. Let's start just by setting down that eyeshadow primer. I have a nearly white pink shade that I like using for this purpose. Now we can get to the fun part of the eye look. Here is the palette that I pulled together. I think we're going to keep probably to this column, although I might also, you know, I might pull from this top row in general. But let's make the majority of this look from this sort of coppery shade. I think this is Foxy Lady from Luxy. No, this is Laced. From Luxie. I'm just going to get that on my finger to start with and pull that along my lid, just keeping to the center. I imagine I'll want something a little deeper on the outside and something a little lighter on the inside. But I think that sets the tone for what I want this look to be. Next up, let's go with this off-white shade. This is Get Naked. And yeah, that's perfect. It's like a wet shine look to the eye. Okay. And for the outer portion of my lid, I actually think we're going to jump over to this deep gray shade, which is, I get, which is from Sydney Grace, actually, not Luxie. I'm making a mess trying to get this out. Traveling Elegance. And for this, I'm going to go in with a brush just because I know I'm going to make a mess if I try to use my fingers. I think we're going to go with this brush because it's convenient. And I'm really going to focus that in just the outer corner. A 
I'm not looking for a ton of depth and I certainly do not want it to overpower lace. I really want that definition. Okay, so we have a nice shape going on there. It almost looks like a wing, I think, but I like it. Okay, and with that same brush, I'm going to go back into lace. Pull that along my lower lash line. This is going to be a little bit deeper than the pure lace that I have up on my lid because it still has a little bit of traveling elegance on the brush. But I think that will tie everything together nicely. cleaning that up because I managed to get a little bit of dark shadow in one of my under eye lines, which is not the look we are going for today or ever. Next up, I'm going to take just a little bit of this PYT deep brown and mix it with a lot of the lighter brown and put that up in my crease. I especially want to use that to blend out the top portion of that near black shade that I have because uh, we don't want any harsh edges here. Or at least no harsh edges that I didn't intend on putting there. <laughs> okay, that's looking nice. Now for a little bit, I don't know, do I wanna do winged liner now or do I wanna wait and add just a little bit more shimmer to the lid? Let's add a tiny bit more shimmer to the lid. I'm going to be using this pinup from Tarte, which is a white, popping that right at the center. I love that color. Such a good eyeshadow. Keeping it right at the center really makes it look like that lace shade is just even more shimmery than it actually is. Next, we are going to do some winged liner. I actually have a new eyeliner today to open. Uh, I mean, I've used this one before. This is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof, but my Lauren Conrad one decided it was done the last time I tried to use it. So I'm not going very far in. I'm just adding that little shape of the wing Ended up having to do a little further on that side because I uh, messed up, but it's up pretty close, pretty even. I think I could use a tiny bit more on this side. Okay. I don't think that's quite there, but I think I'm going to uh, end up with eyeliner out to here if I keep playing that game. So we're just going to move on. Um, and my skin is actually looking pretty good, I think, so no foundation today. I think that the e.l.f. primer did enough to even out the texture and the tone is actually looking okay. So mascara. I went for both the top and the bottom lashes. I do have a little clump that I tried to get off from my lower lashes on this side. And uh, I think I got at least most of it, but... Hmm. I'm not sure I like this mascara. I feel like it's been pretty clumpy from the beginning. And I don't mind a little bit of clump. I like volume. I don't care if it looks like I'm wearing mascara, but hmm, questionable. Okay, so I think that's more or less the eye is done. I don't know if I acknowledged this earlier, but I actually did my brows 
this morning, first thing, I was just wearing like brows and tinted lip balm for most of the day, and now it's after work, and I'm getting ready for nothing, I guess. <laughs> it's not like I'm going anywhere or doing anything. Just figured I'd film a video and do my makeup because I didn't get a chance to do it this morning. I do want a red lip because it just feels appropriate with everything else I have going on. So let's find my red lip. This is the Dior 999, but I think I need to trace out my lips first using this Kiko liner. Why is this completely blunt? What what did I do? <laughs> so that's just where my lips actually fall. I want to make a little bit more of a defined Cupid's bow though. And I'm not really going far outside my lip line, just adding the tiniest little M shape to the top. And I can never decide if I want to keep with where I feel the color of my lips is, or where the sort of protrusion of my lips it falls. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. I just don't want that weird pink outline because that always looks weird. Next lipstick. I always feel glam when I wear this. It doesn't like I could be wearing my most beat up sweatshirt and sweatpants and I would, I would still feel put together. Love it. So pretty. And for my cheeks, um, I hadn't actually thought about it yet. I think I want to get some use on my Project Pan stuff. So let's use a little bit of this Jason Wu. I want to say these are called like their Honey Fluff products. I should really look that up. I feel like every other video I'm just struggling remembering this product name. That is not blending quite as well as I want it to, so I'm just gonna go over with this brush. This is a foundation brush, and I don't know what I used with this last time, but it's it feels like there's something that dried on it. Hmm. Well, at least it did what I needed it to do. It blended out my product. And then I'm going to use this Viseur, I looked this up, Noir bronzer on my cheeks and then probably up on my forehead too. I don't know. Let's just start putting it on and then we'll decide how far I want to go with it. So I'm going to sort of set down the cheek area with it. is nice and light. I do appreciate that. Okay, I think I should probably, you know, stop while I'm ahead and just go with that. But when have I ever, you know, gone the smart route and stopped when I'm ahead? Let's see if I can't add some more shine, some more sparkle, and I think I'm going to go into more of pinup on this little Luxie brush, Luxie brush, and just highlight the brow bone with that, 
in here while I'm at it. Just a tiny little touch. And then I'll blend that out further with, is this the same brush I used for the bronzer? I think so. <laughs> I don't know. I have the memory of a goldfish when it comes to these things, apparently, because it's been, what, 30 seconds since I put that down? And a little bit of contour, because why not? This is Too Fert Cool for School's Art Class by Rodan Highlight. Just putting a little bit of contour. <laughs> you know, kind of the exact opposite of what I said. Cool, cool. And I'm going to add a little bit of powder to my chin because that is not looking attractive. So I just have this little MAC sample. I actually don't know what this is. I think it's a sample of one of their powder foundations if they have multiple. I don't know. I'm really not familiar with MAC's range at all. Like I have a couple of their lip products and then this powder sample and that's I think all I've ever had from MAC. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I think we've at least gotten to the final look. I am happy with this. I feel like I could go to a Christmas party in it, but instead I'm going to sit at my house because I'm exciting like that. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any uh, suggestions as to which of these sets of colors you would like to see in an, another Get Ready With Me, I would much appreciate that because there's a lot to go, there's a lot to go with here and I'm not sure what you guys are interested in. Thanks again for watching. I hope I see you all next time. Bye. Have a great weekend, y'all. <laughs>